Okay, welcome to everybody who's just tuning in right now on Periscope and Twitter. And thanks to everybody for tuning in from earlier this afternoon as well. I appreciate everybody stopping by for that and letting our stream catch up with everything that is going on for this evening. And now, I believe so far, it looks like, yes, we are live going on Facebook right now. So thanks to everybody for joining us on those three social media networks, keeping you updated with what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. Just past 842, and things are Decently quiet for right now. More chances of showers and thunderstorms will be back in the forecast. And we have to talk about, unfortunately, uh, the potential of some severe weather out there as well. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. If you've got questions, drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see more about what's going on in your neck of the woods and also keeping you updated as to what's going on with weather here in the Mid-South. If you have never been here before and would like to know more, drop by email here, Austin dot onic at wrg.com social media here back down toward the red bar here and over that direction over there forecast for tonight and tomorrow in the blue bar and of course email address right here complete and total updates on the news channel 3 forecast available here at wrg.com slash weather if you'd like to see more about what's going on in and around the mid-south area let's take a look and see what's going on on the radar display at this time we again do not have much of anything taking place in the way of huge amounts of rain anywhere near the Mid-South area. Jimmy O'Connor, welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in. We do have, again, some showers taking place and just a couple of rumbles of thunder back up around the area into southeast Missouri. That is all part of our next storm system coming on through and a few sprinkles possible in the Mid-South as we get into later on this evening and overnight. It doesn't look like anything in the way of severe weather. Dyersburg, you could catch a shower back up toward the Trimble area and then right back up around Ridgely and into northeastern Arkansas. Saw more showers developing over parts of southeast Missouri, moving east southeast, and more of that's going to be coming down our direction as we get into tomorrow. We have again the possibility of more of these showers out there again into tomorrow, especially in the morning hours and onwards. That's where we're going to start to see some more problems out there, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. As of right now, again, little if anything for the rest of the Mid-South at this time. We do again have some hazy conditions out across the Mid-South. If you'd like to see more of our weather bug cameras, go to wreg.com slash webcams for more information on that. Randy McDonald, welcome to the show. Likewise, Donnie Messer, thanks for stopping on by for tonight. Let's take a look and see what else is going on out there where it comes to radar. We again have a severe thunderstorm watch back to our west, and a couple of them actually, Oklahoma, Kansas, and just to the west of the area around northwestern Arkansas. The activity that we're looking at up into around portions of Missouri, refiring up into around northeast Kansas, and that's going to be dropping down our direction throughout the course of the rest of the evening. So more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through as we get again into very early tomorrow morning. Now most of what we're going to be seeing at this time is going to be again scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms across the mid South. Main threat at this point will be the possibility of heavy rainfall. What we're going to be looking for is, again, this next storm system coming on through. Noticing this back across the Plain States, which is where it is this evening, making its way a little bit closer to us into the course of about the next 24 to 36 hours or so. That cold front, again, making its way a little bit closer to the Mid-South area, and as it does, this is where we're going to continue to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms. It's going to stretch out a cold front, which is then going to turn stationary. You can see that sitting right across Arkansas, Oklahoma, and back into Texas, and as that stationary front sticks around the area, the air on either side is going to kind of irritate that, and we're going to be getting more chances of showers and thunderstorms out of this as it gets a little bit closer to us into the next couple of days and then decide to kind of stick around and not really go anyplace. Hey, back to Rachel Mayfield. Thanks for joining us for tonight. Chris Underwood, thanks a lot for joining us uh, for this evening and thanks to everybody for stopping on through. Feel free to share our video around. Make certain everybody knows what's going on in and around the Mid-South area on your Facebook page or otherwise. We'd love to have everybody along. And don't forget to drop your uh, current weather conditions into the comments section. We'd love to know more about wind speed, temperature, how much rainfall you got yesterday, anything like 
like that, let us know. And if you've got pictures, stay tuned. We'll tell you more about where you can send stuff like that coming up in just a little bit. National Weather Service is, again, keeping an eye on the possibility of maybe some stronger storms coming our way on Sunday. Main threats at this time, again, of the yellow box up there will be from uh, the possibility of gusty, maybe damaging winds, and then also the possibility of localized flooding from some areas with heavier amounts of rainfall. Now, so far, we do not have a major threat for severe weather. A potential, yes, that's something you got to pay attention to, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Let's take a look and see what's going on across the area tonight where it comes to anything involving uh, the temperatures out there. Again, for tonight, lows going back into around the mid to upper 60s. Looks like 70 degrees, a pretty good reading in and around the Memphis area this time. Marilyn Ware, thanks to the show. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming to the show tonight. And Mary Jewell, welcome from South Fulton, Tennessee. Appreciate you dropping on by. Let's go into tomorrow. Again, high temperature is going to be going back a little warmer, mid to upper 80s, a little bit more sunshine out there, just a bit to keep us warmer. Chances of showers and thunderstorms greatest over around northeastern Arkansas. That's where we'll see, again, the potential for the heaviest rainfall from roughly Dyersburg back to about Jonesboro. But everybody in the Mid-South, as you'll notice here, has that potential for more severe weather coming on through. And that's something that, again, we're going to need to watch out for as we get into the course of the rest of tomorrow. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on that. High temperature Temperatures tomorrow, mid to upper 80s. Lows tonight with winds coming up out of the south will not be all that breezy but they will be out of the south, and that's the important thing. We'll be looking at some winds helping to keep the temperatures up and also increase more moisture heading our way, so that's going to be more chances of rain heading into Sunday night, and that chance of rainfall sticks around for pretty much all of Monday, so we'll be looking for that potential to continue across much of the area. And going into Monday, temperatures again back into the mid to upper 80s in areas south of I-40, lower to mid 80s across much of the rest of the area as we get into the forecast again through the rest of the week. Pretty similar out there. Thanks to the clouds and the rainfall blocking out the sunshine, things are going to be warm and a lot more muggy. Today was dry and very very nice out that direction today, so looking very pleasant, but unfortunately the humidity uh, is going to be on its way back at this point in time, so something to think about uh, with those showers and thunderstorms out there if you have any plans for outdoors, so please keep that in mind as we see more activity like that. Uh, Jimmy O'Connor... Um, your arthur I'm assuming you that's arthritis, and if that's the case, I'm very sorry about that. Will I have a field day for the next few days? Sorry about that. Looking at a chance of showers and thunderstorms turning severe tonight as we look toward Kansas, Oklahoma, and back into the panhandle of Texas. That's going to be well away from the Mid-South area. Now heading into tomorrow, there is going to be a marginal threat of severe weather. It doesn't really look like much right now, but unfortunately the important thing at this time is going to be, again, the potential that these storms could become severe, maybe in a limited fashion, but this is something we are going to have to pay attention to. Marginal threat, kind of the lowest potential for severe weather. And this is something that really has to be paid attention to. Again, if you have any plans for outdoors, this is for the entire Mid-South area. So we could see, again, heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding. Remember, turn around, don't drown. And then also remember, if there is severe weather, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Could be some gusty winds out there and thunderstorms. So if you have any outdoor stuff like furniture, yard art, stuff like that, loose branches, you may want to see if you can get that, that taken care of, secured or tied down just to be on the safe side. So tomorrow, that's going to be mainly in the afternoon noon and evening. We'll be watching this with a lot of interest, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Taking a look into the tropics, want to talk about this. There's a couple of areas that really need to be paid attention to. The first one is over the right down toward the Bay of Campeche, and that's going to be heading, it looks like, right over the Yucatan Peninsula. As it does, and as it works its way into the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico, this thing looks like it's going to be standing a pretty good job of being developed into a storm system at this time. Again, we're looking at maybe about a 70 to 80 percent chance of this thing developing. So this could be something to take a look at. Most importantly, if you are going to be traveling anywhere from, say, Brownsville all the way back up to New Orleans, you got to pay attention to what this thing is going to do. Because if you're heading down that direction in the next few days, or even to northern Mexico, if there's an evacuation order issued, uh, even before you leave, you need to double check that because there's no point going down to these areas if you're going to have to turn right back around and head out of the danger zone. If you've got a hurricane coming on through, even a Category 1, you don't want to be sticking around for this. You want to be completely and totally safe 
out of the way. That's going to be the best thing for you on this, and this is something to pay attention to. Again, if you've got some late summer vacation going on, Brownsville to Fort Myers and the Keys, anywhere in that area, I would watch this very carefully. Now, back to the west of that, into around areas of the Atlantic, there's another storm system out here. This one, again, between Africa and South America. This one in the orange shaded category, it does not look like it is causing too much concern just yet but this is still a lot more active than what it used to be just about maybe a day or two ago. So this one heading on over toward the Leeward Islands and then eventually over toward Hispaniola uh, into around Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Also Puerto Rico could be looking at a possible impact from this. So if you're vacationing there or heading to any place in the Bahamas, Jamaica in the next few days, or for that matter, up the East Coast, because there are a couple of computer models that are showing this thing doing a curve up that direction and becoming very strong in the next about week or so. So this also needs to be watched with these two systems lining up into around the tropical Atlantic. And if you're heading again to any of those areas, Please keep an eye on that and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 that just to be on the safe side right there. Coming up in the next few days, the Perseid meteor shower will be peaking. Unfortunately, with all that rain and thunderstorms and clouds being formed out there, it's a pretty good bet that we're going to be seeing a lot more clouds than anything else, but hopefully things will clear out by the time we hit this time next weekend. But it looks like hopefully a strong Perseid meteor shower coming up, and the radiant will be coming up in the east uh, right before sunrise and and should be looking pretty good on August the 11th. Not tomorrow. You'll be seeing more meteors in the next few days at nighttime. Uh, it should say in the next few nights, I guess. But that, again, is where we'll be seeing uh, better possibilities of them. Hopefully things start to clear out, but over the next few days, going to be a little bit on the difficult side to see that going on. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that. I'll be getting on the air again tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so join me for a complete update on that. Again, updates on the forecast available, wrag.com slash weather. Something you'd like to see on here, we'd love to know more about it, but I can't tell because my psychic powers don't work all that well. So drop me a line at austin.onic at wrag.com and keep it tuned on air and online for more information. Again, Todd Demers will be on bright and early tomorrow with the update on the forecast. We kind of swapped the schedules out a little bit. I work Friday morning. He's working Sunday morning, so you'll see me tomorrow night as we get on the air to let you know what's going on with those thunderstorms out there. Thanks to everybody for joining me. Thanks for everybody dropping by and more in the comments section as well. And stay tuned for more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining us from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Got anything more? Keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised.